Saber Sim's new ability to remove lineups from your pool based on our player filters gives you a whole new level of control over the lineups you end up taking with you into your DFS contests. I wanted to do a quick demo of this new feature, walking through a couple examples for a couple different sports of how you would use it. Let's go ahead and start here with an NBA build for tonight's January 28th, 2022 slate. In this case, I just built 150 lineups with default settings, and I'm noticing right off the bat that I'm getting quite a bit of CJ McCollum and Norman Powell in my lineups. And maybe in this particular case, because they occupy a somewhat similar role on the team, I want to limit and avoid any lineups that play those two players in them together. I can use the filters tool to filter first by lineups that include CJ McCollum. And then again, another filter to include lineups that include Norman Powell. And with this new feature, I can click removed filtered lineups to bulk remove them all from my pool. There's actually two different ways to do this. If I'm currently on the my lineups tab and I click the remove filtered lineups, it's only going to remove the nine lineups that are in my current 150 from the entire pool here. However, if I go to the pool tab, I can immediately trash all of the lineups in my entire pool of 1500 that include both CJ McCollum and Norman Powell. In this case, I'm going to do it from the pool tab because I want to make sure that I just completely remove all of these lineups. We'll click removed filtered lineups. We'll get a confirmation message that we're going to remove 28 total. We'll confirm. At this point, we want to fill back up to 150. Clear the filters. And now in this case, we can go back in here, check on CJ McCollum again. And in this case, validate that we have no more Norman Powell. So it's a very easy way to quickly make sure that our NBA lineup constructions have the, the player combinations that we want here. I'm going to walk through a couple different uh, sports examples here to show just a few other ways that this might work. And we'll hop over to NFL and do an example for NFL showdown. Now we've got an example for this week's Bengals versus Chiefs AFC Championship game, and we built 150 showdown lineups. And perhaps in this example, in this case, we want to be selective on our Jamar Chase captain lineups. So let's filter and look at our Jamar Chase captain lineups. Then let's head over to Flex. And let's eliminate any Jamar Chase lineups that don't include Joe Burrow in. So in this case, we're actually going to use the minus filter and say, show me all of the lineups that have Jamar Chase captain with no Joe Burrow. And again, I'm going to go over to pool and eliminate all of these lineups from my pool. I'll click confirm. In this case, fill back up to the top. And now, since I know that we've removed all of the lineups that have Jamar Chase, we should see well, excuse me, Jamar Chase captain with no Burrow as the quarterback. We now can see here that for all of our Jamar Chase lineups captain, we have Joe Burrow in as a flex position. One of the cool things about this is because we've done that on the pool level here, we can actually go in and increase our exposure to Jamar Chase captain lineups and say get 10% and know that all of the lineups that end up getting filtered into our set of lineups since they are coming from the pool will also still have Joe Burrow as captain. Let's go ahead and look at one more example here. And this time I'm going to jump over to golf. So here we have lineups for this week's Farmers Insurance Open. And we've got 150 lineups. And we see that we are pretty well exposed to two different golfers here, John Rahm and Daniel Berger, who we both expect to be pretty chalky. We're actually over the field on both of these two particular golfers. And maybe we've done some analysis and we're okay with that. But we don't want to play either of these two golfers together, knowing that they're both going to be relatively more chalky golfers in the field. Again, in this case, we can filter by both golfers. And immediately eliminate all of the lineups in our pool that include both golfers together. Again, follow the same steps. We'll fill back up to 150, clear the filters. And now we'll have no two lineups that include those two golfers together. You can see, again, that this did depress our exposure to both golfers a little bit. 
So if we wanted to make sure that we got, for example, our Daniel Berger exposure back up uh, to about where it was before, we can set the min exposure here and know that every lineup that includes Daniel Berger that was added to the pool cannot have John Rahm in it. I think this can be a really powerful feature if you want one extra level of control over the individual combinations of players that are getting into your lineups. Because SaberSim has a unique approach to valuing correlation and ownership dynamically and automatically when you build your lineups, I wouldn't overly rely on this feature to make sure you're getting every single combination of players or different combinations of correlated or uncorrelated players matched up because SaberSim is going to do a lot of that automatically for you. But if you know that there are certain combinations of different players, uh, stack types even, you can do this in golf. It doesn't make so much sense. But for NBA or for NFL, if you have certain players that you don't want to use in a certain stack type, you can do this with stack types as well. So just wanted to give a quick demo of how to use this new functionality. I think it's really cool, really powerful. Let me know if you have any questions. We can always talk about this in office hours. And until then, thanks and good luck.